Guys, happy Wednesday. Keith at Crypto Bullseye. And I promised you an update video on Gala. So Lee Anthony Santiago is the one that requested this. So thanks for the comment, Lee. And a lot of things have happened since the last video. And we spoke about quite a lot of things within the last video as well. More importantly, and more specifically, how to trade a range within a range and the significance of the breakout within that long range and how we would expect that to flip support. So this is acting as textbook at the moment. We also talked about and emphasized risk to reward. Got 7.92 risk to reward on this trade. How can you protect yourself in profit? How can you ride the trade free? If anyone got this breakdown here from the last gala video, we're going to be going over all of that in this video, projection targets, scaling out targets. So lots to talk about. Let's dive in. Okay, so Gala's trading at just over two and a half cents now, 0.02547. I'm going to give two scenarios in this video because we were talking about the range within the range. That's going to be significant because we've broken out of the range, but we'd expect that to test support. It's 136 days we're in this, and it was resistance every single time that it hit the top of this band for 136 days. So the significance of the breakout means that the bulls have got momentum in the short term, enough to break out something that they haven't been able to in 136 days. We would expect that resistance to come back and flip support. So this is what's happening at the moment, guys. 136 days in this accumulated phase. You've broken out with some conviction. You've come back down, and we're now testing this previous resistance level as support. We need to hold this level of support. Right, what we did last video, we measured the downside risk compared to the upside risk. So I'm going to give two scenarios. I'm going to give the scenario for the people that got in in the last video and a scenario that people haven't got in and that there's a second chance entry that's possible. We need a couple of things to happen for a second chance entry and it's always more difficult with the second chance entries when you've put in that higher low than it is from the initial break. From this initial break here, you've got one thing, guys. You've got protections underneath the low, and that capital is 3.53%. If you were wrong at this level after the break, you would have lost 3.53%. So the least amount of capital, guys. That means that you can ride this trade, this big trade here, which has moved from the break to the top of the price, uh, to, to the top, 72% to the upside from where price action is now on the pullback, 38.55%. So that's the killer entry down here, guys. Anybody that got that trade from here, including myself, what I'd be doing now is put in my stop loss to break even. Put your stop loss to break even. That means what's your risk now? What's your risk to reward now? This. This is the power behind it, guys. What's your risk to reward now? nothing you've got no risk you've broken you've pulled your stop loss to break even and then you can ride you can ride every single move to the upside now would you leave your capital in guys none of this is financial advice this is just something that i do myself you can learn from me you can do these things yourself but make sure you do your own research so how would i be playing this guys i'm looking at resistance levels i'll be looking at resistance levels to take out and scale out during the course of this trade and then i'll be looking to put those stop losses higher and higher each time so when the trend reverses then that means that you're out in profit let me show you what i mean so we haven't come back and we haven't put that higher low in yet. We're pulling back. We've had a reaction like we expected at the 200 daily moving average. When we put in a higher low and come back down and we get a reaction, it could be at the 50 period moving average, and we get a reaction, then you can add your trend line. Trends your friend to the bend at the end. I'm going to show you what I mean now. So you've hit a support level. You've got a bounce at a support level. We know it's support because we look left. Clues look left, guys previous resistance, we'd expect it to act as support. So you've got your trend support, you've got your previous resistance, which is acting as support, you've got your 50 period moving average, we'd expect that to be a higher low there. So you would expect a continuation to the upside, a higher chance of breaking the 200 period moving average. And what happens then, if we break and close above the 200 period moving average, and stay there, we're going to get the bull market golden cross. When the 200 period moving average it crosses underneath the 50 period moving average, 50 period moving average is the faster pace moving average, and that's going to fly up a lot quicker. So you'll get your golden cross at that point. So we're looking for the higher low. And then what happens? Stick that trend line back up, back on. Got your higher low here. Move to the upside. You put in a new higher high. 
put in a new higher high. If you wanted to take profits here, if it coincided with previous resistance anywhere, that's fine. 25%, 20%, whatever it is, it's your money. And you're pulling back. Now, one thing that we'd be doing here, or one thing that I'd be doing here is I've put in a higher low. There's my entry. I can pull my entry into profit on this higher low while still riding this move to the upside, knowing that if I'm wrong, I'm going to be pulled out in profit. Then, exactly the same again. You pull him back, coincides with previous resistance. You've got your trend line support. You've got your previous resistance. You would expect that to hold. You'd expect to put a higher low in. The trend's our friend until it's not, guys. Then, higher high, what do you do? Stop loss below this previous low. And at any time when price does this, you're wrong. You get a volatile spike to the downside. You're in profit. You've made this much capital. You've made this much capital. 54.59%. Right, let's clear this mess up. We've got projection targets for longer term moves on this Gala one. If it was going to shoot a lot higher, I've got targets here. I've got a 38.2% retracement from this previous swing high. This is not a bull market swing high, guys. This happened back in March 2020, 2024, so this year. So I've got 382 retracement from the previous swing high. That coincides with what, guys? This shelf here. This shelf held for 57 days. What does that mean? It's going to act as resistance going forward. So that'd be a profit taking area for me. That's sat at 0.04146. But as you're putting your swings up, guys, don't forget, as you're putting your swings up and you're riding up to the 382, one thing's happening. Your stop losses are going here. Your stop losses are going here. You get a reaction from the 382. You reverse, take out this previous higher low. What does that mean? Trends reversed. You're in profit. And that's how you can ride it, guys. And that's how you can protect yourself. That's how you can get yourself into free trades. So that's looking good for me. And I hope this video helped, guys. Let me know in the comments what it is that you want me to cover next. And one thing, guys, is I've made plenty of mistakes in crypto. Trust me, I've only been in crypto for four years and I've made plenty of mistakes. And if I could show you those mistakes, then I'm happy to show you their mistakes to stop you from making them ultimately. That's what I'm here for, guys, to build a community where we can do this together. So speaking of mistakes in crypto, I'll be dropping a video out tomorrow morning. Five mistakes that every new person in crypto makes. So you can watch those five mistakes and you can prevent those mistakes from happening yourself, guys. Preservation of capital is the key. Remember, trade well, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>